What's up, everybody? It's your host that does the most. I got Melissa back there. Today I'll be doing some thrifting. I'm going to hit over by Noriega. Been off my flow, but I'm coming back now. So let's get this started. Right off the bat, we're going to start off with some champion. You know, your boyless champion. Actually, y'all don't, but some champion basketball shorts, some gym shorts. Then right next to it, found some green champions in a size XL. You know, your boy's about to get them. Because you know, your boy, we big boys out here. <laughs> big boys. We got a Disney shirt out here. Ooh, daddy. Ladies, get your man this shirt so he knows. Della who, Della what, Della where. Ain't your mama, ain't your mima, ain't your daddy. You know, your boy Asian, so they have to have that soy sauce shirt for here. Oh my god. Your boy out here found a champion, like olive, navy, cream, bomber, jacket, wooden breaker, whatever. Sally, though. It's not my size, it's a medium, but maybe one of the homies will want it. Mm -mm -mm. Why don't we look at that? Patagonia. It's a large, but your boy might have to finesse it. It's in his favorite color, the orange. Got this rain jacket. Oof. What the hell? Oh, hell no. If y'all don't know, gochu in Korean means dick. The world is yours with this scarf face black denim pants. Oof, this shit's fire. It's Tommy for your mommy. Shout out to Paul Cantu. Don't trademark me on that, but that's fire. It's not Melissa's size, but probably gonna sell it. When people see this shirt, they're gonna be like, ooh, Calvin, what you wearing? I'll be like, I'm wearing Gochu. <laughs> We are on to the next thrift store. Let's see what we can find around here. Your boy Malzo. Champion basketball shorts. Purple. XL. Some Taylor shorts. Champion spell out. Large. May fit me. Scared for the boys. Like a play, hit the sack when I back. If she stay where I lay, she gon' dash. Can't trust her, she gon' leave with a bag. If we gotta show our friends, it may come to a two. Smoking grand, we ain't got nothing better to do. Low for the shorty, call it on me, me. I'm in my like every game, do Luigi. Out west, got a chick with a TP. Out east, on my ex, on my niece. NJ, where I'm from, like sister. I don't trust a damn snake, trust a wizard. VA, all the bitches bad. Daddy, yeah, she feel jib set on the pad. My name is Jaime Rodriguez, and this is Noriega Bodega. Uh, Noriega Bodega is just a brand um, compiled with uh, brands such as uh, Nike, Adidas, um, Nautica Competition, Nautica, Tommy, um, Polo Sport, and um, I just wanted to spread light to 
to brands that get unnoticed or, or old brands that you know you don't see anymore like not in competition post sport I just want to show people that you don't have to spend a hundred bucks 200 you know on like shirts like you could just spend like 20 on like a nice tea and like you know rocking and like people won't be like hey you know like, that's cool you know and you'll you'll feel comfy wearing it you know what I mean like you know some people are like oh, I don't want to get it dirty but like hey it's just a tea but yeah that, that's no Diego bodega well, I was born in 96, born in El Salvador, came here when I was three, and uh, you know, like as a little kid, I grew up watching like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and like falling in love with um, hip hop culture, and like later on, later on, like about 16, 18, I fell in love with like like the brands like you know like I was watching like music videos and I'd watch like 50 Cent I'd watch like Joey Battis all, all everybody just like rock different tees different like you know Tommy to like Nautica and I was like damn that joke that joke fire like when you just put on a piece and I fell in love with the bagginess too like like I, I don't know I just saw something about it like when it like swings on you it's just it's amazing I've been doing this five to six months, uh, driving city to city, thrift to thrift, waking up like at eight, leaving the house at 10 in the morning, coming back at eight. Sometimes I come back with three bags, sometimes I come with two, sometimes I come with none, but that's just how this is. I remember um, when I first started, I had like 10 shirts, 15 shirts, five jackets. At the time, I thought it was like, some fire pieces, you know, what people say, like fire, like diamonds, gems, all that. Well, I had it in this like laundry basket. It was like this big. And I remember when people were like, only little people knew it was me. So they'd like, hey, I'm, like, come, like I want it. So I used to bring the whole, I used to bring the whole basket to the to their house. And I'd be like, look, I got this, I got that. I want to shout out my man's Wesley because he was one of the first people that bought like three things and also my sister like when nobody was buying like she'd see the basket and like she'd buy me shirts and I'd be like 10 and she'd give me like 20 but yeah like I used to I started off with, uh, riding around in like in the car with like the laundry basket my my uncle just had recently uh, came from El Salvador and um he didn't have anything, like he didn't have clothes, he didn't have pants, you know what I'm saying? So my mom told me to take him to the thrift store. And I remember um, I was walking down the aisles, he wanted like dress pants, he wanted like a, like a little polo tee, whatever. And um, we passed by the jacket aisle and there was like this Nike, Nike jacket with a big uh, Nike logo on the back. And he was like, I used to sell those. And I was like, what, really? He's like, yeah, I, cause like over there, you know, Salvador, you won't really get that much um, money, so he'd make three dollars a day. And he said like his side hustle was selling clothes, but it wasn't vintage clothing. Like it wasn't like just Nike. It'd be like any like dress shirt, dresses. You know what I'm saying for ladies. So I was like, what? And like tell me more. Like he he tell me like he used to drive like the metro, like, wake up early, go to work, after work, get on another bus go try to find like clothes and then like just be on the street just trying to sell whatever 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 so I was like damn like that's cool and and at the time I wasn't working so I mean that's just how like that's what really inspired me my uncle to the top I mean hopefully you know God willing have my own little shop um, the storefront, you know, where, where people could come, try on clothes, like mirrors everywhere, chairs, like like a lounge, like where people could just sit, talk about clothes, talk about shoes, cause like, I don't know really much about shoes, but like, that'd be so super cool to like learn, talk about music, movies, artists, you know, whatever, whatever, and like, um, maybe like on like Fridays, have like open mic events and just have like people from like the area, like the DMV just come and like, perform that'd be super tight you know like just some for the northern virginia just to like just to show people like we got it like we have it ever like we have it all in abundance
Yeah, to thrift. I mean, there's nothing more beautiful than to go and find something like vintage or it doesn't have to be vintage. Like it could be like something modern, but like if you like it, I mean, just thrift. I know, I know sometimes you go and you can't find anything, but that's just how this is. Like, don't give up, man. And like, I, I always like to say this, I know it's corny, but like, at least you live to thrift another day. Y'all probably wondering if this is for sale. No. <laughs>